Hi, welcome to Free Fiddle Lessons. Today we are going to learn an Irish tune called the Sally Gardens. It's a reel and a key of G. So the first phrase of the A part starts on G, third finger on the D string. So the first little bit is um, a big G arpeggio, and actually that continues a little bit into the next part of the phrase, but we'll get that again because that's very jumpy. So we keep using the same notes G, D, and B. Um, or G, B, D, which are the notes in the uh, G major arpeggio or chord. And you'll notice that I keep my first finger down at one point when I'm coming back to this B, but I have to cross back over for the G on the D string. And I can actually keep the G down as well. So that's the next little part of the phrase. Every other note is that B. And I could go over to an open E uh, rather than the fourth finger. I think in this case it's kind of nice to use the fourth finger to stay on the one string. And that also lets you do a D drone with it if you want. But you could play. Either way, I leave the B down the whole time, except when you have to pick it up to play the A. So let's put that whole first phrase together. Again. phrase sounds like this. Let's break that up a little bit. And in the, fir the first time through I did this little ornament but um, that's essentially a, a small ornament on the notes. I'm just playing the G as more of a uh, I call this ornament a twiddly for whatever reason, uh, as a, a grace note, playing the G as a grace note instead of playing it as the main note. But I'll play it as the main note here. And then the second part of the second phrase. Same 
same thing on both strings, fingering wise. So if we put the second phrase together, Let's try and put first two phrases together from the beginning. And the second part of the A part is almost identical uh, right up until the ending. So the third phrase is the same as the first. Sorry, this is the ending phrase now. So instead of playing the ending phrase just ends on the G. The whole ending phrase would be this. And then um, there's different pickup notes to go back into the A part or to go onto the B part. To go back into the A part, I have to play a little F sharp. Really, that's just because I'm often ending on a down bow. And I often want an up bow, uh, an up bow so I have another down bow to start the next phrase. Or, well, that's not quite true because sometimes I'll actually start the whole thing with an up bow. for that kind of dropping impact, um, which is a bow technique I like to do. Um, and I will still play the F sharp. I think because the it sort of highlights the G when you're starting it again, rather than just playing two Gs in a row. So yeah, sometimes if I was gonna not play the F sharp, I'd play you know, a little open G as well, something to accent the start of the new part. Um, but let's backtrack and think about playing the whole A part, um, and we'll play it, um, with the first ending. So you can go back and play that whole A part through a bunch of times. Okay, so for the B part, um, we'll bring in the second ending of the A part, the pickup notes to the B part. Um, so it's a B and a C. That's how it sounds in the context of the ending. And we'll just tack that those notes on to the beginning of our first phrase because uh, we'll use them again when we're going to repeat the, the B part. So here's the first phrase with the pickup notes. Second phrase.
again. I'll just do that ending because it's a little different. It's returning to that idea we had before, you know, be we had the place where we came back always to the B. Here we're coming back always to the G. Um, so let's try and together the first few phrases, but before I do, uh, I just wanted to say that I'm using this flick to separate two notes that are the same in several different places in these first two phrases, um, which is a very Irish kind of technique. Um, and often I'm playing those two notes on the same bow, not always. Um, and I'm just touching the string that hard, not, not playing an A, but just to stop, separate the notes. Or. So here's the first two phrases of the B part. Okay, we'll go back and do that much one more time. Same first phrase until the very end. So we go back up to an, uh, a G at the very end. Uh. Again, I'll play that second half of the third phrase. And then um, we have the ending, the fourth phrase. Which is the same as the ending we had in the A part. So the third and fourth phrases together sound like this. part we use that F sharp so let's um, we'll just add that on as the start of the whole tune but um, now we'll play the whole tune through two A parts two B parts
part 